Hey guys, so before we can start our energy analysis, we've got to prepare our model. So to do that, um, let's look at our roof. And yeah, we've got to select these individual layers making up the roof. So make sure that these thermal properties are selected. And the way to do that is by specifying that layer. As you can see, these are automatically embedded in Revit. And then the concrete structure, as you can see the same um, properties within that thermal tab. So our roof has been set up. Next, let's look at our windows. So from edit type, we want to see all these properties that are, that are grayed out. So in order to do that, we've got to select an analytic construction type. So single glazing, and you can see how these parameters are embedded now with numbers. Again, for the for our walls, we've got to have these layers specified. So define the correct materials, make sure the you select appropriate materials for your walls and whenever required insert additional layers so over here I'm trying to put a uh, vapor retarder Also it has zero thickness because it's a membrane. So now that the model is ready, go to manage, pick the location of your project. So in my case, I'm just going to pick Canberra, Australia. Now you can do a search for the exact position of your project. So if we do Sydney, but apparently it's not predefined in Revit. So our only option is to pick camera. So still the parameters are for Canberra would be applicable uh, for Sydney. I mean, there would be no issues.